Countries around the world reached out to Haiti after the January 12, 2010 earthquake, the earthquake that took the lives of 250,000 Haiti citizens west of Port-au-Prince, where the earthquake struck. Hundreds of charities began and donated money to help with the restoration of the aftermath of the earthquake and to provide shelter for the estimated 1 million Haiti citizens that were left homeless. The end of the earthquake did not mark the end of the loss of hundreds of lives. The outbreak of cholera following the earthquake left hundreds dead and thousands hospitalized seeking medical attention for the disease, a disease that is most often spread through the ingestion of contaminated food or drinking water. Cholera is a potentially fatal bacterial infection that causes severe diarrhea and dehydration. Now a year later, Haiti residents are coming together to celebrate the rebuilding of Haiti since the earthquake. Also, people from all across the world have traveled there to help celebrate the restoration. Though many are still left homeless, a lot has been done since January 12, 2010. News 4 understands that Air Turks and Caicos has provided charters for persons to travel to Haiti to take part in the celebration as well. TCI residents have taken advantage of the opportunity. Howard Hanfield of North Caicos has dedicated his time to the country, and even though it may take more than a year or maybe even a decade, Haiti residents are anxious to fully restore their country. Tomorrow will bring lots of memories to those who may have lost loved ones during that time, lost a home or a business, but it will also be a joyous day which marks a year of survival after the deadly earthquake. News 4 will have more on the aftermath of the earthquake in tomorrow's newscast. For WIV4 News, I'm Amanda Miller.